If someone already told you, we need to check if this information was modified or not, if you still have the original content. If someone has asked you, we need to handle the user credentials without knowing the user password for security reasons. So if that's your demand, you could use hash functions. The hash functions are utilized when we attempt to have some kind of encoding that represents um, one, one information regarding the original data and that could be checked against this data to see if it was modified or not, if the two different informations met or not. And then we have the hash concept. When we have one binary input for this function that could be any kind of string or any other kind of data converted to, to, to bytes, and then we are going to transform in the output one hash uh, that's a message digest, which has a fixed size, okay? We have this information here, fixed length output, okay? So no matter the, the size of the input, the output we always has the same size. And that's a very important feature for security purposes, because with that, we have no idea of the original information, because independently if it was a, a short message or a long message, the generated hash always has the same size. Okay, so the goal of this video showed you how to use this incredible library, the Py CryptoDOM and this hash package to perform hash functions using Python. So let's take a look here in this API and how to perform that in your Python code. Okay, basically it's simple to be utilized. We have to instantiate one object and then we have to inform the, the message that's going to be ciphered with, with, the, with the hash and then we can later on change to another message with the update and then we could have the output in two different formats or as a binary output calling the digits method or in a hash uh, digits that's a normal e string but represents hexadecimal characters that sometimes is easier to to transfer, to store, because sometimes work with strings is easier than work with binary data. So basically that's not complicated. So let's go to the to the PyCharm environment here and explore this functionality. So basically here I have two times the same block of code. One that declare the input string as a binary string using this B in the front of, but sometimes you cannot hard code your input string. So one very typical input is you have one string that would come from any kind of source and then you just call the encode method and the output's the same. We are going to input the binary string in the in the input for the hash. We have to import the, the hash uh, package we are going to, to use. Here we are using the SHA-256, but there are many others. You can take a look here in the website they show to us uh, a few possibilities okay, of algorithms we could utilize. When we say we are going to use the SHA-256 is because we are going to produce a um, hash message with, which contains exactly message with this size, with 256 bits each message, okay? So let's explore how it works. Let, let us clear this output. Let us run again. This code is going to be available to you to download later and watch this video. So here we call this, we set the input string, we call the digits method, and then here we have the binary string that is um, a, by, um, a bytes class and has the 32 bytes length. 32 bytes, when we multiply it to 8, we have 256 bits. Okay, exactly the size of the uh, of the hash. So here we have the hash message in the binary format, but if we want to have that in a string format, we could call the hex digits function, and then we have the, the same the same content, but instead of binary, we have that this way, with six four 
uh, string length e its character representing one hexadecimal sharp. Okay, and we, if you multiply by eight, we have the original size. And like you can see, we have here one string with one length. Here, another string bigger, but no matter the size of the input string, we have the output string always with the same size because the hash has no variation in the output length, always a fixed length, length output. Okay, hope you have enjoyed this video, hope you can use hash functions when you have to. Thank you for watching.